Sorry to me. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? Eat that cake. You know what I'm saying? Off top. For it, but that the little green one I be making, that's my bust down ooh wop sun slack. So down. bust down ooh wop, but you ooh-wop. could you could flip it like ooh dee ooh dee ooh wop. You know what I'm saying? It's also ooh-wop. how you do it. It's also how you feel in that morning. It might be a <laughs> hey everyone, this is Andre Lewis, lifestyle designer and Compass agent, always helping buyers, sellers, and investors design the life they seek through real estate. And today you are watching my show. So what do you do? We have the hottest rapper in the game selling out of his Lakai signature shoes, which sold out the first day of release, selling out of his signature new era hat, which I have on right now, the first day of release. Performing that Rolling Loud, we have Larry June. With his artistic vocabulary and healthy lifestyle, Larry June does not need a rap label to manage what he has already built in TFM, also known as the Free Minded. Larry June has released several albums such as Out the Trunk, Mr. Midnight, The Port of San Francisco, Early Bird, which were all released in 2019. When you think staying healthy, Whole Foods, biking, taking a dog, and expensive candles, you think Larry June. And I am excited and thrilled to be shooting this interview with the one and only Larry June himself. Yes, Larry June, how you feeling? I'm doing excellent. Sun slight, very peaceful, can't complain. You know what I'm saying? Off top. Doing numbers, mm-hmm. as usual. You know how we do. Groovy. My first question, because you always say it in your songs, and I need to know. Do you rap, or do you just talk a lot of shit? Oh, man, you know, I talk shit, swallow spit, make a little bitch a biscuit or something, go on a little hike, sun slight, <laughs> very peaceful. You know what I mean? You know I'm rocking like cutoff stocking. Good job, Larry. Numbers. Numbers. A A A A A A. Look, you hear the ad-libs. In my opinion, Larry June is the king of ad-libs. A A A A. Yeah, sign it to me. Now, when you are saying these ad-libs, I need to know what they're meaning. So when I tell you one of your ad-libs, can you break it down for me? Most definitely. <laughs> sign it to me. Oh, you know I'm rocking. That mean like hand it over, sock it to me, put it in my hand, you know what I mean? Thank you, bitch, you're doing great. Numbers. Yeah! Sock it to me. Hey, 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 hey. You know what I'm saying? Let's what go. about off the dribble? Off the dribble, man, you know what I'm saying? Right now, off the top, instantly, you know what I mean? Very peaceful, I'm gonna need that right now. Off the motherfucking dribble, you know what I mean? Not tomorrow, not later, off top. Off the motherfucking dribble. Yes, Lord. Groovy. And when you say you're getting your ducats, what does that mean? Man, a ducat is my issue, like a piece of tissue. You know what I'm saying? I need my ends. I need my dividends. You know what I mean? I need my bends <laughs> to be go. twins. That's right there. <laughs> Off top. That's I need it all. Stuff. My bend dens. You know what I'm saying? Bend days. <laughs> I'm making it. I make new ones up all day. You know what I mean? Easy, you know what I mean? That's how, how can you make it a catchy phrase? Because right now you have everyone in the barrier, in the nation saying numbers. You're doing good. Oh, stop. Step it up. Step it up. It's all motivational speaking, you know what I mean? I got to motivate the people, you know? Numbers is everything, man. You know, stepping it up is everything, too. We must step it up. You don't want to be in the same position your whole life, so, nigga, step it up. Numbers. Numbers don't lie, you know what I mean? Numbers is everything. Numbers is how the wrist doing numbers. You know what I mean? It's how I'm dancing like this. It's all numbers. And everything must make sense. So, numbers. Let's get it. Three. Run that. I was born in 91. Product of the dope gang. 50s, Camaros. Cuts when we swing. Crack gang. You don't even know the half. The stress. Larry, you're doing good. Hey, 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 hey. I'm sure I'm not the person to say it. I'm sure you was telling yourself first. That you are already doing good. Yes, Lord. You're doing good, man. I'm going to be another person to tell you. Good job, Larry. And you know, behind that you're doing good thing, man, you know, everybody ain't going to tell you that. You got to tell yourself good job first. You got to tell yourself you're doing good first because if you don't believe, nobody will. You know what I mean? So, 
good job. Numbers. You're doing good. Told myself that in 2012. I ain't stopped since. Numbers. And if that's not motivation in itself, I don't know what it is. He's telling you to step it up. And that's not <laughs> in just what you're doing. That's, that's in life. You got to step it up in life. Oh, God. That's, that's why he's able to do the things he's doing. That's why he's here at this interview because I want him to motivate you guys yep. to, to step up. Whatever, whatever it is yep. that you need to step up in your life. Live free of fear, you know what I mean? Get rid of that fear and just do it like Nike. Off top. Just do it like Nike. You got to. Free of the fear. Free of the fear, man. That's that's the uh, the life that we want to live. Free of fear. You're free of fear, you can accomplish anything you want to accomplish. You got to just do it. And once you do it, you put yourself in position to do it. If you're not doing it, you put yourself in position to do nothing. Sock it to me. <laughs> man, you trying to go get your AMG washed? Get some yeah. For sure, my ain't nothing. Trying to slice. Very peaceful on a punk bitch. Numbers. Let's go. Hey, hey. Successful in the music industry. Study to occupy. I'll be taking this to the Hornet Report School. Motivation. Or just exercise. Meditation. We eat cannabis. Meditation. Here's the motivation. Difficult. I'm going to be singing it in the morning. You know what I'm saying? To be strong and robust. Take me out the streets. Take me out and bumps. I've been doing this. I'm a brag of bumps. Nigga, 2015, I was having the most. And I was 2019, and I'm having some money. Give, give, him, give him this one and get it. Oh, I could. That's, that's what my homie did. He had, he had the one like you. He, he gave it to him and just got the door. He got other cars too. He's like, there's no point in having two vets. I love how they did the motherfucking tires and shit, you know what I'm saying? Everything. Little, little it was nice detail. Like, very peaceful, you know what I mean? The smoothie is delicious. It's got me the Iron Man. Nigga off top. Groovy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> eight, eight, eight. You know. All right, so you're a motivational speaker as well as <laughs> a healthy junkie. <laughs> Where did that come about? I'm wearing some of your merch now. Healthy, mm -hmm. TFM, the free-minded. When did you decide that you was gonna start taking on the smoothies and bike rides? And was it the transition of seeing San Francisco transform, or was this something Larry June had put in his mind back in? It was all it, yeah. It was around like my, I'm not gonna say when I was still active. You know what I'm saying? Like a like a credit card that worked. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I was still acting like a credit card. That's not going to work. <laughs> that's but you know, man, you know, the healthy stuff is a, it's a mental thing. You know what I mean? For me, it was, it was a mental thing because it was points in my life where, you know what I mean, I was going through certain things. I wanted to get through it. And I used to take these jogs and shit. And it wasn't really for me to get buff or nothing just to keep my mind and my head on straight, you know what I mean? And riding bikes was, was one of those, and then, you know, eating healthy just, you know, just came with it. You know, I, mean? I ride my bike, run into a little piece of snow or something. Really right. give me a little knowledge I've been needing for a few months, you there know you what go. I mean? So, you know, you putting yourself in um, places where you're seeing different things and you, you it's, it's, it's food for the brain, you get what I'm saying? Food for the brain, when you riding your bike and just feeling the breeze, you know what I mean? Seeing the different things and, and uh, commuting in a, a different form other than driving. Right, you get what right, I'm saying? Right. You, you look at the world differently and, and you know what I'm saying? They keep you on your toes, you're watching out for cars. It's exercising the mind when you're on that bike. You know what I'm saying? 
because you're using, you're using parts of your brain that you don't use. And, and, and what I take from it, I get ideas and make my music. You know what I mean? And it's not even me thinking about rhymes. It's about me preparing myself to get in the lab. And because there's so much in your mind that you that we, we only use like, what, 10% of our brain or something? It's about 10%. So when you, when you do other things expanded, other things open. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I might take my bike route different this time and just go left this time and just ride. I don't know where the fuck I'm at. And I'm, my mind is just opening. And I don't know. My numbers just start becoming available. So you know it. I'm dropping mixtape at the mixtape on the punk ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. Good job, Larry. You're doing good. Seven tapes back to back, bitch ass nigga numbers. <laughs> Seven tapes back to back. Yeah, and that was just something slight though. This guy has probably the fastest car, four door car. And he's talking about freeing his mind to bike. You can have the fastest toys, the nicest watch, whatever the case may be. But if you're not mentally preparing yourself for life and things after, what are you doing? You're not stepping it up. Yeah, you're not stepping it up. You're not doing numbers. And one thing about stepping it up, you gotta do it. Whatever you wanna do, just do it, bro. Because when you put it off, you're wasting your time. We only got one of these. You know what I mean? These little life things. So if you if you live your life not doing nothing and just being scared of failure, you ain't gonna make it nowhere. You gonna be sitting there riding around eating peanut butter and jelly sandwich chasing a bitch, wondering what she doing after work. When you need to be doing is focus on how them pockets go do numbers. You know what I'm saying? So you can hop in that GT thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> and do numbers on a punk ass bitch and make sure your socks clean. You know what I'm saying? You can't be tripping off the bitch if you ain't bought a pair of underwear in six months. <laughs> That's not right. Priorities. Priorities, man. Step it up. Step it right. up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like people be on Instagram taking their time out to <laughs> comment on my pictures. You need to be commenting on Wells Fargo. Mm. You feel me? Don't worry about me, nigga. Check your credit score off the dribble, you know what I mean? So you gotta use your time properly. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, if it ain't, you know, everything ain't about money. And now it ain't always about money. It's about being happy too, healthy, you know what I'm saying? And keeping the right people around you. And when I come and choose on a pee, bitch, I feel like I'm dreaming. wake up in the morning and you're saying to yourself it's time to go make me a quick bust down smoothie on aisle two what is uncle larry's go-to recipe for that bust down smoothie on aisle two do we he so off top i come like this in the morning i might bust down a green apple take half of it because i you know i put it i put the portions i um i kept the portions low for the morning you know i don't want to put too much in my body drinking a big Good ounce joint, ooh wop, sun slight, dwee hee hee. So I get the little smaller bullet thing, I bust down half an apple, you know what I mean? Don't really know what that do for you, but it does numbers for me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I take half of that, bust the seeds out of there, because I don't really like the way the seeds taste. Give me a little piece of kale, ooh, chop a banana up, full banana, you know what I'm saying? Gotta keep that ooh wop in the system, whatever it does for you, but it does banana, numbers for me. Potassium. Yeah. About potassium. Yeah, potassium. Yeah, whatever yeah, it is, yeah. it just does numbers for me. I don't I don't, know what it I don't does. believe I don't in things something. like that. I believe in numbers. And I must say, it does me perfectly fine, you know what I'm saying? So I take the banana, you know what I'm saying? It, whatever it does for me, the numbers I was telling you about, and I add those with the kale, you know what I mean? A little bust down organic coconut water online too. <laughs> Boop. Put the little juice in there, slight ice. I like my fruit fresh, you know what I'm saying? The little bitch told me to freeze the bananas, but I didn't think that's necessary, you know what I'm saying? If it go bad, it go bad, we get new ones. <laughs> but I like my, ooh, I was fresh, you know what I'm saying? Fresh bananas, quick little press the button. Zzz, deep, for you know it's smoothie done, two minutes, we got the sun ready for school. Brush your teeth, Eli, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for you know it, I'm out that thing, it's very peaceful, you know what I'm saying? Talk on some muted jazz. <laughs> no, you're rocking. That's how we doing it. Everything is peaceful. Everything I do, doing like numbers. a tie shoe. <laughs> doing numbers. You know what I'm saying? Doing, now, now, once Uncle Larry has just created this whole masterpiece in that blender, the whoop, whoop, yeah, whoop, 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 whoop,
Oh man, you know I got a few names for it, but that the little green one I be making, that's my bust down Uwop Sunslight. That's the little bust down Uwop Sunslight. Yeah, so bust down, bust B U S S down, and then sun S U M sum like S U M slight S L I yeah sun slight bust down sun bust down Uwop. We got the Uwop. So bust down Uwop, but you could you could flip it like Uri Uri Uwop. You know what I'm saying? It's also how you do it. It's also how you feel in that morning. It might be a. You know what I'm saying? You just never know. You might be a full apple. You feel me? It might be a half apple. Off the top. And then you got the, you know what I mean? I got the bus Daniel. You know what I mean? It's all kind of ones you make. It's all. Yeah, I look at all my drinks and how I feel at that moment. You know what I mean? It might be a lemonade. Just like my mojitos. Everything's a mojito to me. Because I like the name. And I think all that shit is getting me drunk anyway. So. Everything's a mojito, bitch big ass nigga. Online too. Yeah, big ass mojito with little mermaids floating around, little pineapples. I call them the mermaids. <laughs> <laughs> the pineapples and the little mermaids. Just floating that. around, you know what I'm saying? Doing this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, it seems like you already got the thought process down. Off top. We'll be expecting the juice bug from you in the next couple Come months, on. coming year. Off top. Like 4th of July, I got something in works, like fire, off the dribble, you know what I'm saying? I got books, all kind of shit, books, looks, you know what I'm saying? What you need, <laughs> off top. So I got all kind of shit coming, you know what I mean? 91, Organic Mud, uh -huh. your new album. Yeah. What is the inspiration? What was the motivation behind that? Organic mud? You know, we got the mud, but mine was organic though. You know what I mean? Because I feel like mine was off the dribble. You know what I mean? I started off, I started off when I was in, uh, I dropped my first tape when I was 15 off the dribble. It was out the trunk back then. We had it out CDs in the mall. We you know, we, we hand to hand with it out the mud to the, to the corporate rooms, to the, back to the mud. It's no, you know what I'm saying? It's no ills taken. So we, you know what I mean? Out the mud, organically, off the dribble, you know what I mean? So organic mud. Because mine was organic, bitch ass nigga. Off top. You said you started rapping when you was 15. Mm hmm. Nah, was your, that was my first tape. Oh, that was your first tape? I started tape making beats 15. and shit in like second grade. Dropped my first what? tape. I recorded on the karaoke machine. I dropped my first little tape in second grade. What was, what was, your, what was your name in second grade? Oh, they called me Larry McClary. Larry McClary. Yeah, off top. Hey. If nigga, if you, if, 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 bring if, that one back. Nigga, if you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, if you know, you know. You have to bring that one back. Yeah, they called me. McClary. They called me Larry McClary, man. For real, yes. off job. TFM. Mm hmm The free minded. Jay Z D can actually get this TFM tatted on his on his arm here, just to show the fans how how real it is. Yeah. TFM, the free minded. It's obviously tatted on your skin. Uncle Larry, what does the TFM family mean to you? Man, the TFM, but it's more about people who, who are interested in what we're doing. We're giving you a lifestyle that we, that we live and you know, it's, it's about being free, free-minded. It's right, it's right in the name of it, free-minded. Doing what you gotta do, staying healthy, riding your bike, you know what I'm saying, being there for your family, you know what I mean? It's the good shit, you know what I mean? Just all the bullshit gotta go, you know what I mean? So free your mind, do some different shit. You know what I mean? You can do that in a million ways. Now that's the truth. Uh -huh. That's the truth. Larry, it's been a pleasure having you on the show, so what do you do? Appreciate that. You can look right into that camera, let your fans, let your followers, let all the viewers know what Larry June has coming in store for the next couple of months and anything that you want to promote? Oh, you know, just keep a lookout, you know what I mean? Tape at the tape on the way. Where you can they follow you at? Follow me on Instagram, Larry June TFM. Follow me on Twitter, everything Larry June TFM. You know what I mean? Very peaceful, all simple, straight to the point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 oh, top. We doing good. That's this, man.